Hello and welcome to Big Red and the Silver Fox. We are back. Uh, tonight we're going to preview some of the main racing over the weekend. We've got a big weekend of racing and sport. Um, I'm joined by the Silver Fox, Tony Patillo. How are you, mate? Yeah, good, mate. Great to be back. Hopefully we can find a few winners for the punters and, yeah, put us off on a winning note. Have you come good from uh, your Vegas trip yet, mate? Mate, still recovering. Been a long time, but, yeah, it's uh, definitely something you young punters need to put on your bucket list. Go there with plenty of money. You're going to need it. Vegas next year for the NRL, it'll be a fat time. Well, hopefully we can win some money this weekend so that uh, we can fill your pockets back up, mate. Yeah, well, God knows we need it. I'm also joined by Rob Todd, our Victorian expert. How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm fine. Just fine. <laughs> fine? What are you? Oh, yeah, I've done that. Uh... Oh, I've done form for five five different meetings today so weekend so yeah I'm all right busy day <laughs> couldn't be busy and, mate and also and also bent at Moe all day as well which which um which takes its toll but anyway we we got three we got three meetings tomorrow and we're betting at all of them so see how we go right yeah guys we'll jump straight into it so we will kick off Friday night at the valley so we have a look at the Moya. Here's our market for the Moya. So we've got Imperator's favourite, dollar sixty-five. Uncommon James, James, five dollars. As for a seven fifty. Off by eight dollars. Zeus doll twenty sixes and longer the rest. We'll jump over and have a look at this speed map. See what Rob thinks. What price do you say As for is? Seven dollars fifty. She's drifted a bit. All right, fair enough. Hello, right, takes away, Rob. What do you think about this speed map? Yeah. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. That's Zoo style. I can manage to go out in front. Um, potential potential uh, roadblocks. Yeah. Um, as for it gets, gets the pretty clear run there. And then you've got like, um, you just can have a line. The three, it's three horse race and the three horses just, just in a line there, so that's four will be in front of Imperatrice, and then Uncommon James will be on the back of them, and that's that's the race there. So, three horse race. I've got for what it's worth. I've got Imperatrice mark two forty, Uncommon James mark three twenty, and as for a mark four thirty, and the rest like next best I've got Rothfire thirty threes, and the rest I've got like um thousands. So, we'll have a quick look at the last start replay here. A few of the key runners come out of. I know I'll get you to talk us through this one, mate. What do you think of this run? Um, yeah, this was obviously unbelievable. And Peritrees blew them away. They ran a huge fear. Um, the circumstances did did work out perfectly for her. Um, she may get similar here, but she's, you know, um, obviously gear kick wasn't his best on the day. Not worry about the ride. The ride was fine. Just didn't fire. He was fat in the R, which probably didn't help. Um, and then there's Roth fire just whacking away their second. But they did put the time on the board. But um, against better horses here, um, in obviously like Uncommon James, who's a proper Group One winner, and as for it, who is very very good. So it's not going to be as easy here. You couldn't. I don't think you could possibly. It's a world where you could take a dollar sixty-five, maybe even is maybe fair, but even then. Just makes it easy bets just for Uncommon James and as for her. And if any from Perjuries wins, then that's just fair enough, I guess. Can't take odds on. So your main play in the race is Uncommon James? Yeah, probably. I won't be like a heavy play because, as I said, like, you know, Perjuries is very good. But, um, yeah, I think Uncommon James, the trials have been, well, jump outs have been unbelievable. Damien Lane rides. And as for her was huge last start. Probably a bit of a question mark on the form of it, but she's she just never runs poorly. She'll probably she'll probably run third. Um, I I think Uncommon James and Imperatrice will corner like together, and it'll just be the um who's the strongest late, and one of them should win. I'll probably just this is easier backing Uncommon James at the price. Um, I think he's probably closer to like a three fifty chance off last off the first up figure last time. It's hard to um. It's hard to get him, like like you know, it's hard to get him much longer than like three fifty. So yeah, I thought it was an easy bet. 
Yeah, I yeah. sort of thought when I had when I had a look at the all in market on Monday and I seen I think it was tens or elevens for Uncommon James, I was like, Oh, pretty keen to bet then and then when I had a look again today and it was into five dollars, I was sort of like, Oh, I'll probably just leave the race alone because Parish is too short to back at that price. Yeah, no, th- yeah, that's a massive win spot. I try to stay pretty clear of all wins, but mm, yeah, I know, yeah, you sort of wish you could take that price, don't you? Eleven bucks is huge, but Anyway, just still still a pretty big overlay for me at um around five dollars and probably better on the night. So see what happens. I'm not I'm not like I'm not jumping out of my skin to to bet in this race. It's not. I'm probably more excited um tomorrow at Colerain to be honest. But I mean it'll be exciting because they're three good horses and they probably should all get Everest slots. Imperative will get an Everest slot after this. Uncommon James too. So I don't want to go there, do they? Yeah. No, nah, they'll go there. Yeah, I I heard the same. They they got invited to the Everest and they turned it down. I'll go there. I'll go there. Trust me. Hundred um, percent turned it down. I'd like to get your thoughts on no. something, Tony. What do you think of Craig Williams' ride right on Giga Kick? Look, he tried to win the race. You just you're giving a you're giving a horse. You you're not giving a fat horse. You're not you're you're not. In the understanding that you what you've got underneath you, you've just got to try and win a race. What Craig did, he tried to win the race. Like missed the kick, probably should have followed up. But if he sort of sucks up, up I still don't think it turns a result. It um, Giga Kick was definitely off on the day, and he had a he rode the horse to try and win the race. So I'll never ever hang a bloke for trying to win a race. He wasn't out there trying to give it a soft run or anything. He was trying to win the race for himself. I was filthy at the time because I was talking out of my pocket, but yeah, I agree. Who <laughs> <laughs> you got on top there, Tony? Pocket can say some amazing things, mate. I, I look. The Queenslanders got a real big strong stranglehold on this race. Um, I think Imperatrice is off that harder draw. She's just drawn to get in stuck in a little bit of a traffic jam. She won't get that follow into the race. Um, she will she will suck a real the longest priced horse in the race, the Inferno, eighty one dollars. She'll suck it straight into the race. So he can peel off her back and like if he's back on top of his game, God strike, he can rip out some major sectionals the last little bit. But I think the Queensland has got a real good stranglehold on this race. Rothfire, Zoo style and Uncommon James. I am leaning towards Rothfire getting a great run and uh, uh being somewhere in the finish. Rightio, we will move on to Sydney on Saturday at Randwick. We have the Epsom. I'm looking at its market. Wide open market here. Um, we've got $7 the field, so the inevitable and hope in your heart are equal $7 favourites. Of Larka, $9. Nugget, $9. Pounding, 10s. Converge, 15s. Red and Ear. 15s, Waterford 15s, Democracy Manifest 16s, My Oberon 23s, and longer the rest. Here we have the speed map. So I think it's an Epson. There's a lot of horses with light weights. It's always generally run um, with a few of these speed horses drawn inside, like Williamsburg and uh, Red and Ear. And then you've got like the factors of the horses coming from the outside, like you've got Converge for Gay. I don't think, um, I think Communists can probably probably take a sit maybe it could probably get bust in behind the leaders there but a few of these um jockeys have decisions to make what they're going to do from these wide barriers like nugget from 18 golden mile from 20 um they've either got to go forward and try and find a hole or they've got to snag them right out the back golden mile from on this... there he's got to press on he can't win sit can't win sitting three and four deep so he's definitely going to be pressing on um i like the aggressive ride on him last start I don't think he'll. Uh, they'll try and be aggressive again. Whether he's good enough is another story. Righto. First replay I want to highlight is the run that Hope in Your Heart comes out of. A few of its key rivals are in this race also. Democracy Manifest, uh, Alentia, Golden Mile was the winner of the race. I really like the way Hope in Your Heart started to pick up through these holes. He was so unlucky. He uh he went for a run here, gets held up. She, and, she, yeah, she. 
um, gets held up and she still managed to run like the fourth quickest last 200 of the day. And she's like in between horses for the whole 200 meters of the like, last 200 meters of the race. Um, she's always been a good horse. Fourth in the Doncaster last prep behind Mr. Brightside. I uh, like, like the tick over trial in between runs. And um, I think she's probably prime for a race like this. Yeah, agree. It's two horse race between her and the inevitable. I'm awesome. saying that. We'll move on and we'll have a look at the inevitable. What do you think of the inevitable this day, Rob? Yeah, it was huge. I backed it. I wish won. Um, it ran like 10, 10, 68 last 200 metres um, from what I recall, which I, I, I can't remember anything going much better than that. It's, it's just ridiculous. Um, pretty unlucky not to win. Uh, that gold mile one, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah, a little camel. Um, he'll uh he'll beat it this time, but I mean it's probably short enough. But yeah, two horse race, I reckon, the, the inevitable and um, hope in your heart one of them should win. But it's a pretty average race this year, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. He the inevitable's a funny horse. He always seems to go around a price. I don't know if it's because of the trainer and where he's from, but like he's he's run third in an all star mile. Like he like dumped out of the ground there over an unsuitable distance, and he's better over sixteen hundred. Um, and with even luck there, he, he wins it. So I know it's yeah. got a little bit more weight than a few of them, but I, I honestly think I think Kathy O'Hara just gets a great running behind him. Um, I know you're not a big fan of her, Robs, but geez, you can't do much wrong from that Ellie. Um, all she's got to do is track up, track up, and 50 kilos on its back. Oh, God. I I can see it just peeling out and getting the right run and um, going straight past him. Uh, I'd like to, ha I'd like to from the barrier, given after the barrier draw, I, I, I'd like to ride it the seventeen. I'd never make fifty kilos in a pink fit, but that's the one I'd like to ride in the race. You'd have to chop off a leg, mate. You reckon? Chop off two legs, one arm, and uh, four ears. Um, I gave I, I give her a, I give it a serious chance in the race. Um, it's it, yeah. I'm very much against the two horse race. So I think Golden Mile. I think he presses on. Uh, he's shown what a horse he he can be when he gets right. And um, look, fifty one dollars Kerwin's Lane. I think Speed's going to be right on for it. Third up when he starts to come to his four. So yeah, there's a, a real good chance it's thrown wide in the race. Oh, yeah, so Rob and I have it have it between two, and then uh, Tony's chucked in a few roughies there at long odds. Should find the winner there somewhere. Oh, yeah, best bet time. We'll start off with the Silver Fox. Who have you picked out, mate? Mate, found Red Week Race 5, Tom Kitten, number one, Nashua Willa, flying, James Cummings, flying, the Blue Army, I'm, I'm on. Get on Tom Kitten for the best bet of the day. It's Race 5, number one, $2.30, Tom Kitten. What about you, Rob? What have you got picked out? Uh, last race of Benella, Presser. Presser? When's Benella? Tomorrow or Saturday? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Nice early one for us for the weekend. So we got race yeah. nine, number three, Presser at Benella. $2.90. Yeah, it's pretty much it's two ninety dollars now, is it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah, it should, yeah it should win. Helix is probably a bit of a chance. Like, probably, Helix is probably the only thing that like stopping it being like a real, real, um, good bet. But um, yeah, I think it's uh, I think at the price is probably the best bet. I've also um I backed Osmar at like huge odds in the last race, but um she's still a good price if you want a value pick. But um, yeah, and then Mornington um, just my prices off remember, I got like Midnight Charm or something. I think it's in that race two or three at Mornington like um. Mark like even money or something like that. So um that'll probably end up being a bet, but I'd like to look more into it. Yeah, so that's Mornington race two, number two. It's currently three seventy. Yeah, I got it. I got Mark like two ten or something like that. So And I'm gonna round us off with my best bet of the day, which will be race seven at Ramwick, number two, think about it. Um a favourite horse. I've been on it really every start it's had and I think it wins the Everest. So I think tomorrow is going to come out. I mean, Saturday it's going to come out and show how good it is. 
and I think you'll get a better price some race time because he plays he plays up in the barriers. Um, I mean, in the mounting yard all the time. And a few times I've seen, like the first time I seen him, I was like, I don't want to back him at all, and he still won. And it's just it just is is who he is. So it's two twenty five at the moment. I think probably by the time race starts, we're probably gonna get two thirty, two forty, which would be lovely. It's an awful race, isn't it? So you should just win. Who's second yeah. favorite? Like Zapatea. Yeah, but yeah, second favorites: Bell and Epitina sixes, Zapatea sixes, and Alcohol three. That imported guys. Oh yeah, is it, even, is it finished racing? Is it like is it finished yet? Since the Queen of the Turf. Anyway, nah, no, nah, nah, no, I'm, I'm still waiting for it to finish. That day, I was all over it. Yeah, yeah, no, think it, think it over when that is. I'd, I'd imagine I haven't, I haven't backed him yet. He's, he's sort of a horse that um. He's a bit like it reminds me of Animo. He doesn't put big margins on him. Doesn't rate that highly until I think one of his ratings in Queensland was enormous on my stuff. So he's confirmed now as an elite horse for me. So I'll be on. Yeah, yeah I've always they, um, back. I've always had the firm opinion of that horse. It's like it's one of those horses that doesn't necessarily always rate well, but he just knows how to put his head down on the line. Like he, he like if he gets in a dog fight, like there's no other horse going to beat him. Yeah, well, he's rating in the um. In the Stradbroke, I think was why well, she both the runs in Queensland. Yeah, it was absolutely enormous. So, yeah, no, he's he's, he's pretty good, but yeah, two forty is probably good enough bet if you get it. Probably will. See what happens. Right, yeah, that'll we'll do us for minutes. today. Um, we will. Everyone have a good weekend. Oh wait, we might get the um. What do you reckon? AFL, NRL. Who we got, boys? You might as well lead us off, Rob. The AFL footy, uh, Brisbane should win, and I don't even know who's playing in the rugby, whether well, Wallabies or something. <laughs> Wallabies, mate, that's right. We're going to NRL. We're going to NRL, and we love it. Um, mate, there's only only two states to be in: the Queensland and pissed. And yeah, after the Lions win on Saturday, the Broncos win on Sunday. I'll be pissed on Sunday night. So, so should be great. Should be a great they, result. The Brisbane's the Broncos. Who's the team they're versing? Isn't it like the Panthers or something? Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Who's gonna? Who's meant to win that? Panthers are dollar uh, sixty favorites. I think dollar sixty to two thirty. Okay. Who's like the oh. consensus? Like, is everyone that Penrith is going to win or? Yeah, Penrith won the oh, last two depends. years. Depends oh, on which year. side of the border you come from. Okay. Is it a big deal out there, rugby? Is it? Oh, it's huge. Yeah. Is it? Oh, okay. It's huge. We don't, we don't, we don't know AFL up here. Fuck. We've only got, we've only got between New South Wales and Queensland, we've only got three teams to cheer for. Really? What in, uh, in footy? In AFL, we've only got three teams to cheer for. We got the Lions, the Swans, and GWS. We're at Gold Coast. Oh yeah, that's right. They play Sons. as well. Yeah, no, they, they haven't featured as yet, so we don't really know them bastards. <laughs> I don't but, watch yeah, AFL no. at all. The one game I watch is the grand final, but I, I did watch the other week, and I was messaging Rob mid game, and I was like, "How do you watch this sport?" But he thinks the same about rugby league, so. <laughs> the rugby just fucking just jump on top of each other and just like anyway you can't even can you even kick it in rugby they've got the goal post there they can't even kick goals they just yeah, yeah, and neither can use that's why you just get a point for missing for fuck's sake <laughs> you just, they just run across the line just, <laughs> yeah. you guys just drop the uh, ball around everyone's just dropping the ball dropping the ball not get hold of it knock on knock on <laughs> forward pass fucking what time is bang the yeah, ball down can't even pass it forward in rugby you just don't oh, even no. have a fucking kickoff, mate. Come on. <laughs> Kick off. Uh, what time spang the ball to you? What's All right, that? boys, what that'll do us. Um, everyone have a good weekend. All right, sweet, okay, man. Uh, ball, mate.